was to give an assisted hovercraft, which was originally going to be autonomous. So you could set it down, put your payload on there, pressure the beverages, and it would sort of drive around and bring it to you. What we discovered is that control algorithms for the vehicle are rather difficult. So what we did instead was give it remote control with the assistance that if any one of these three range finding sensors gets tripped, it will override all of your remote control, kill all of the motors, and stop it before you crash into something. So the general way it's going to run is you turn it on, you have to check your payload to make sure it's within the range that the server can carry before you can have control. So this is a scale that has a switch beneath it, and we calculated how much weight the hovercraft can carry without maxing out the fan and reducing performance. So we got the right size springs, and if this scale is overloaded, so you want to carry your object, you place it on the scale, and you see if it's overloaded. If it is, the pick will sense it. It's constantly pulling to see if that switch is tripped. But we didn't want that to always be running. You know, if the hovercraft is going, we just want to test it once for the weight. So that's what this button does here. So you place your object on the scale, see if it's heavy enough, press the button, and the signal goes from the pick to the Arduino and tells the Arduino if you're good to go. So the mechanisms that we chose to use with this are two small three-phase motors, both run through uh, PD PWM signal speed controllers. And then underneath here, we have a servo to give us steering. So now remote control returns. We have control of our servo here. We can so as we got close to the wall, our front sensor tripped and turned everything off. The pick circuit right here, that's activated by the switch. Got one of the motor speed controllers right here. This controls for the lift fan. And the thrust fan speed controller is back over here. Oh yeah, our servo control comes directly from this circuit here, which we have some transistor logic, which the Arduino controls to turn off the RC signal to override everything when it sees a sensor get tripped. 